Hello, my name is Peter Koch. This talk will tell you a little bit about the Open Bioinformatics Foundation, or OBF for short. The heart of the OBF is a community. We're a membership-based organization dedicated to promoting open source and open science in biology. Please consider joining us. OSC was started in the year 2000. And the year after, bio projects began. The OBF was incorporated to provide asset management for those nascent projects. A few years later, we had bylaws and formal membership. In 2012, we became an associate project of software in the public interest. Using a fiscal sponsor was to simplify maintaining non-profit status. We currently have an elected board of eight members, including three officer roles defined under the bylaws. What does the OBF do? A lot of activity happens within our self-managing member projects. Earlier this year, the OBF membership approved a formal policy for adding or removing affiliated projects. Volunteer time is a precious resource, so we're trying to minimize hands-on systems administration. Renewing domain names, security certificates, and paying for hosting are our main ongoing expenses, and we pay these directly through the SPI where possible. We have an OBF newsletter with several issues per year covering bioinformatics in general. This is edited by Yo Yehudi. The next issue will be shortly after this conference. We take submissions via GitHub. Next, I will talk about our code of conduct plans. We want to improve diversity within bioinformatics, and for the last year have been consulting on a proposed OBF-wide code of conduct. This will cover both in-person and online activities and provide member projects with a central point for reporting and handling issues. We're holding a birds of a feather session during BCC 2020 to present the proposal, which will be put to a vote by OBF membership and hopefully will be in place later this year. The OBF participates in the Google Summer of Code program, or GSOC for short. We've been doing this for over 10 years, although not every year have we been accepted into the program. Nowadays, the OBF Google Summer of Code program is run as an umbrella for open source bioinformatics in general and not restricted just to our member projects. I'm delighted to say that all eight of this year's students have passed their first evaluation. At least two are presenting work here at this conference. Special thank you to our Google Summer of Code administrators and of course the mentors without whom this would be impossible to run. Now to our annual meetings. BOSC is our flagship event. It has usually been held as part of a large ISMB meeting. This year, for the second time, we've partnered with the Galaxy community. We don't know what form future scientific meetings will take post-COVID-19. So please do complete the feedback form after this meeting. For the last 10 BOSC meetings, we've held an associated two-day workshop, which we called a CodeFest or CoFest. Up till now, these have been in person with perhaps 50 people attending. This year is going to be very different. We have hundreds of participants spanning multiple time zones, and it's all online. It will be interesting. Let's hope it's fun. The last thing I want to tell you about is our Travel Fellowship. We created the OBF Travel Fellowship to promote diversity at bioinformatics events. The program has been running five years now, and we've made over 30 awards. Things have changed due to the pandemic, but we still made awards, having advertised that we would support remote attendance. We made five awards late last year, and a further four awards already this year, two of whom are attending this conference. You can now apply twice a year. The next deadline is 1st October. All the awardees are asked to write a blog post so you can see the kind of things we've supported in the past. Having told you about what the OBF has been doing, I'm going to turn it around and ask, what do you think we should be doing? The OBF makes strategic decisions, but we're limited by volunteer time. If in future there will be less travel for scientific conferences, with most being online only, how might we change our fellowship program? And an even bigger question, how might BOSC change? Should the OBF take a more direct advocacy role for open source and open science? Perhaps you have ideas. Perhaps you can help. Time to wrap up with the final slides. Hundreds of people have contributed to the OBF's activities this year. It's probably hundreds more that have helped make this conference happen. I will only name two, Dave Clement and Nomi Harris as chairs. Thank you, everybody. We hope you enjoy the rest of the conference and the CoFest that follows. Here are some contact details. Thank you for listening.